Hey, it's Alex coming at you from Bath Christian Church, Friday again. And you know what was fabulous this morning is that we actually saw the sun. Wow, after all these days of rain in eastern North Carolina, we have sunshine. So it was like a dose of medicine for me this morning. And I was so thankful. And you probably are too. So I hope you get out and enjoy it. I hope you had a good week. But again, enjoy this beautiful weather. And um, also this weekend is Memorial Day. Um, so Memorial Day is Monday. So it's Memorial Day weekend. And be sure to honor, remember, lift in prayer and praise um, just the blessings that we have because of the sacrifices of men and women in the history of our nation who have laid down their lives so we could have the freedoms that we have today. Um, we truly are a blessed nation. And we truly are blessed people. So be sure to, to um, just lift up honors and praises for that this weekend. And speaking of blessed people and blessed nation, it takes me back to our friends, the Israelites. We've been talking about Moses. And the last time we got together, we were talking about how um, the Israelites were going out of Egypt, the Exodus, the whole book, the chapters, that we were talking about Moses and Aaron, and they were leading the people out as per God's command, God's guidance and his instruction, and they were leading them by way of the desert to get to a destination called the Red Sea. So that was the plan. That's what God had chosen to do for his people. And so it leads me to a little um, a little trick I'm going to show you. It's called the pepper and water trick. So I've got a little bowl of pepper. I'm going to bring the screen down so you can see what I'm about to do. And I'm going to take um, a pepper shaker. And I'm going to put a good dose of pepper on top of this water. And you're like, Miss Alex, what are you up to now? Well, I'm going to put a nice heavy layer of pepper on this water. And then you're going to see what's next what's next try not to sneeze or get it all over the place but i think that may just about do it all right so now next thing we're going to do is we stick our finger in nothing's really happening the pepper's not reacting but let's do something a little bit different and i'm just going to put one little drop one drop of dishwashing liquid on my finger and I'm going to put it into the pepper and let's see what happens. <gasps> wow! Did you see that pepper roll out of there? Wow! It was reacting big time to that dishwashing liquid. So this is a trick that you can do at home. Show somebody how that works. Alright, back to what? The Red Sea. The Red Sea. And it looked a little hopeless. Because here they are. I mean, it's like walking in front of the ocean and it's right there. And you're like, okay, I'm really, we're really going to go through that. Okay, Moses, what have you done? You have brought us out here from what was at least somewhat safe. And we're out here at the edge of the Red Sea. And what's going to happen next? Well, they were, they were hopeless. But you know, with God, nothing is hopeless. And they just had to trust. Well, Moses, what's he going to do? God gives him instruction. What you're going to do, Moses, is you're going to, you're going to lift your hand, stretch your hand out across that sea. And he probably had that staff in the other hand too. Remember that strap, staff was pretty important as we recall. Stretch your hand, Moses, out over that sea and the sea's going to part. And it did. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it parted. And the Bible says that the Israelites went through they walked through, all hundreds of thousands of them, on what? Dry land. Not semi-wet, not sand, not, not damp. It was dry ground. And God made sure they were safe. So, all this is going on back at the Egyptian camp. Madman Pharaoh is having a hissy because all of a sudden, he and the leaders are like, what have we done? We let those Israelites get away. We're going to be stuck to do all this work that they were doing for all these years. We have really made a big mistake. So the hardened heart that was softened briefly is now hard again. And the chariots and the horses and the Egyptian army, they are 
on their way to chase the Israelites. Well, the Israelites learned about this. They 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 knew that the the um the Egyptians were hot on their trail, but that's okay. God's got it. God's got this. You know, He's always got us right there in the palm of His hand. And so, what happens is they all get through. They all get through. And what I like in the word here, what it says is that the angel of God who had been traveling in front of Israel's army withdrew and went behind them. The pillar of cloud also moved in front and stood behind them, coming between the armies of Egypt and Israel. Between. So, he says, he's the Lord's fighting for him. The Lord's fighting for him. So, with that, with that in mind, we know the Egyptians are coming. And God is still in control. So what does he say? All right, Moses, now stretch your hand again out over the sea. And what's going to happen? The sea is coming back together. But who's in there? Not the Egyptians, not the Israelites, the Egyptians. All of the Egyptians, their horses, their chariots, their army is in, swallowed up by the Red Sea. And they wash up on the side of the Red Sea. And the Israelites, they're safe. They're safe. They're good. And isn't that a praise? Isn't that a praise to know that God is so good? He is so good. The mighty power that he has, he takes such good care of us. We can be standing on the edge of something, just like a Red Sea. And God's got that. He's got it. And isn't that a great feeling to know? Isn't that great? All right. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Mighty God, you are our deliverer. You're our fortress. You're everything to us, Lord. And just like you part of the Red Sea for the Israelites, you're the same God. You're the same God. You have not changed. You still have supernatural powers. And you have amazing strength and, and what's better, amazing love that you show to your people. So we thank you, Lord, that you have us in the palm of your hand. We thank you that when we're standing at the brink of something that looks like it's just not going to work for us, that when we call out to you, we ask you in the name of Jesus, help us, Father. You have got that. You've got it. We just have to trust. There's that trust word again, Lord. Help us to have that. Help us, Lord, each day and help us be thank to be thankful people because we are a blessed nation. Just as Israel was a blessed nation, we are a blessed people too, Lord. Thank you again for the men and women who served in our nation and history so we could be here today to say thank you and enjoy those freedoms. In Jesus' name we pray, amen and amen and have a great weekend and until next time, we'll see you.